If you have ever operated in discernment of spirit, discernment of spirit is a conjoint part of the triplet with word of knowledge and word of wisdom. All of them are joined together. In one moment, somebody, this is a chair. This is a chair. In one moment, you just begin, begin to see the root of how it was made and what it was dedicated to. Nobody else can see it. Somebody is singing and raising his hand in the church. But you can discern. He's doing all this by the evil spirit. I've given you an example before. I was, uh, I was uh, in growing up in a particular fellowship. And God didn't want me to fall into certain things. That, and I saw a number of people falling for a particular gay. But this gay, any time he comes into the fellowship, the way I breast his position, and every brother in the fellowship, including president of certain branches, I one day, I was a young believer. I never told anybody. I think the first time I said it will be in Europe. And we we're, were just fellowshipping. All of a sudden, God just opened my eyes. Pwah! I just saw as if they pour hydraulics on her breast. And as the hydraulic was shining and glittering, people could not take their eyes off it. They were glued and they were falling. That was simple enough for me to know the spirit by which the breasts were operating. <laughs> Are you listening to what I'm saying? Somebody can be saying Jesus is Lord, following Paul like in Acts 16, following Paul around. And nothing is moving around you. All of a sudden, there's a grief. Oh, I don't know how God does it. You know, the third one that I said, word of knowledge, word of, word of wisdom, and the sermon of spirit is the knowledge of the Holy. The Holy Spirit just breathes to you and opens something. And you are able to understand things in the past, in the present, and in the future in one moment. And you know in your Noah, more than you know that you have eyes, that this is this thing. Nobody can turn it from you. Sometimes when somebody is about to stop coming to church, I just, it just click in my heart. I just know it. And I just know, I just begin to pray. You see you that want the person to go, because if God wants somebody to go and you want to have him, it's your own personal problem. You see you, are you there or something else or whatever? Are you listening to what I'm saying? You just know. And especially as women, you must have discernment of spirit. Because men are very blah blah. Your husband are very blah blah. Anything they, anybody they see on the road, they want to carry the person. Anybody they say, ah, this person can come and live in our house. Hey, somebody they say, ah, this person can be the choir leader. Hey, this person, ah, this person can be the prayer leader. But women, Berlin first said it that the people that God gave the best of discernment of spirit is women. He said many times his wife will tell him, Berlin, don't let us put this person in charge of this. He said, no, we have to move this ministry forward. <laughs> Until the person have them move them, move it backward. <laughs> he said, he will not come to the world. I say, I'm so sorry for what I did. He said, I told you. But you said you are the one who has the anointing. The sermon of spirit is one of the pow most powerful ways through which the anointing of the Holy Spirit works. All, all of those things, they are under the unction of the word, I mean, the, the knowledge of the Holy you never know this thing before. It's not knowledge of man. All of a sudden, God just put it in your heart. And it's in the process of studying, meditating, minding. 